Hello, it's James from X Robots. Do you remember when I tried to break the Guinness World Record for the tallest 3D printed sculpture of a human with a massive sculpture of myself? Well, we did a series last year. I did an event and put it on. We had a quantity surveyor come along to actually measure it. We gave all those results to Guinness, but we never found out whether it was a world record. So this video, I'm happy to say, it is a world record. And here's what happened. Well, Guinness liked it so much, they wanted to come and give me the award in person. So I took the 3D printed sculpture of a human down to Southampton Makerspace, which is a community run not for profit workshop where members can do 3D printing and laser cutting and use all sorts of tools. Guinness actually wanted to make their own promo movie about this. So we did a lot of pretending to measure it and looking at tape measures and going up and down ladders, taking it up, putting it down, all of those sorts of things. So if you check out the Guinness World Records social media channels, you can actually see their own version of this video, which includes a short interview and basically lots of shots of me standing around, pointing and pulling funny faces. Yep, the normal publicity shots, lots of pointing and lots of photographs. And after that, it was time to get the actual world records title. All right, so I'm here with Rebecca, who's an official adjudicator from Guinness World Records. Hi, Joe. Hi, how are we doing? Good, thank you. So today I can announce for the measurement of 3.62 metres that you are a new Guinness World Records title holder. Congratulations for the tallest 3D printed sculpture of a human. All right, You're thank you very amazing. much. Congratulations. Cheers. So here it is, the Guinness World Records title for the tallest 3D printed sculpture of a human at 3.62 metres, with my name on. So that means this is the tallest in the world. Some people have got shorter ones, but no one's got one taller. But how did I make it? I had a 3D scan made of myself down at Portsmouth University CCI faculty and this was using a Cubify iSense attached to an iPad. And this is Ken who's a final year degree student who um, actually did this scan and he cleaned up the model as part of his final year portfolio. He's using ZBrush here and using my YouTube videos in fact as reference here to make sure it looks exactly like me in the end. I use 3D printers sponsored by Lulzbot and these are the Taz 6s which have more strudas with their 1.2mm nozzle. I also had a lot of filament from 3D filler print, around 50kg in total which is pretty much what it took to make the whole thing. I cut the model up in Fusion 360 so I took the mesh and used the beta mesh mode there to put lots of planes in and cut it up all into chunks which would fit on the bed of the Lulzbot printer. It's then sliced in Cura with about 2-5% to infill depending on the part and off we went printing it so that's a bit of my face with the bottom of my nose sticking out and then of course it all had to be stuck together. I made sure all my parts had tops and bottoms on so we could stick all the layers together. There's some of my face, the back and front of my head and here's my whole head together. The rest of the process of course involved repeating that lots of times, so we sliced up the shoulders, layer by layer, all the way down the body, printed all the parts out and kept sticking it together, and I used normal super glue just to glue all the parts together. Yep, that's more printing. More and more parts being stuck together. It was exactly twice my height, so I knew that when I got up as high as me, I was 50% of the way there. All of the parts were made in sections so they could be plugged together for transport, by the way. Yep, you've guessed it, slicing up more parts. And of course, more 3D printing. A lot of 3D printing. Yep, that's my feet, and all of those parts were printed in different orientations to get all of the overhangs for all of that detail. It was at this point that it didn't fit under the ceiling anymore, so I had to move everything downstairs. I made the arms with dovetails, so those were removable as well, and that means the whole thing comes into five pieces. To assemble the whole thing we had to find a high ceiling venue and this is where I originally put on the public event where people could come and inspect it and we had a chartered quantity surveyor to measure it and two independent witnesses. So 
So if you're thinking about trying to beat this record, the key things are that it has to be freestanding and self-supporting. It can't have metal poles up its legs or be attached to a wooden base. It has to be made entirely of 3D printed material, apart from the glue that sticks the pieces together. And there's a whole set of other rules that you should check out on the Guinness website. Thanks again to 3D Filiprint for sponsoring all of the filament. Check out their premium PLA range, which is what we used in this project. And also thanks to Lolzbot for supporting the printers with more struders. Another thanks to Portsmouth University CCI faculty for the 3D scan. And if you'd like to see the tallest 3D printed sculpture of a human, then you can see it at an exhibition at Winchester Discovery Centre from roughly mid-July through to September. And that's in Winchester in Hampshire in the UK. All right, that's all for now.